Good morning. It is Tuesday, March the 15th, 2022. We've been doing some devotional readings out of this book, 52 Hebrew Words Every Christian Should Know. These were written by Dave Adamson. The key word today is emeth, emeth. In English, we would spell that E-M-E-T-H, emeth. Emeth means faithfulness. Every photographer knows that the best time to shoot outdoors is at the beginning and the end of every day. We refer to this time as the golden hour because this is when everything has a soft light and an amazing glow. The beginning and end are important ideas in the Bible, too. In the book of Revelation, Jesus refers to himself as, quote, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, chapter 22, verse 13. I've always understood this to mean that Jesus has always existed and will always exist, but there could be another meaning here that is pretty cool. It's that God is faithful and trustworthy. The Hebrew word for faithfulness is emeth, which is spelled aleph, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The Hebrew letter mem, which is the 14th and middle letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and tav, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. This word emeth means faithful, trustworthy, sure, and consistent. Its meaning is reflected in the way its three root letters are anchored in the beginning, middle, and end of the alphabet. In the Bible, emeth is a characteristic of God and his word. God also wants us to have this quality of trustworthiness and faithfulness. So, in this one sentence in the book of Revelation, Jesus is described as the most sure thing there is, because he is the beginning and the end, faithful from start to finish, and every day in between. Father God, we thank you for your love. And Father, we thank you that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and he cares for us in between. Father, we thank you for emeth. We thank you that you are the faithful one. For it's in Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. Well, continue to join us for 52 words, 52 Hebrew words that every Christian should know.